again, I, and I, I, I don't want to take away. There, there is, there is ageism out there. It is, it is alive and well, and I can, I can spout off half a dozen companies in Montgomery County that I know if you're an older adult, you probably shouldn't apply at, <laughs> but um, we can't, we can't let that stop us because things will change and we can change. And there is, you know, just like any movement, it just takes the right people at the right time to get that, to get those shifts changed. And it really comes down to dollars and cents, but you know, there's companies that can't hire people. They're so short staffed and it's affecting their business. Mm-hmm. So, you know, but just again, what what can we do as an individual? We can we can take the the we can value what we know. We can we can you know the life experiences that we've been given, um, and try to package that into a, a sales pitch. Because a twenty year old isn't going to have those. Somebody in their twenties isn't going to have those. And that's some of the reason too, they're bringing back the programmers because, you know, we've, we've, they've gotten so highly specialized that now people can't always switch back and forth. So um, it's, mm-hmm. you know, again, you're never going to know what, what, what is, what is knocking you out. And, and that's another thing I really want to stress when you are in HR, there is a billion reasons for the people you hire, the people you don't. I had I had one gentleman. He he was like he was far enough along that I could say sort of my criteria. There's fair hiring and there's some processes that go into HR. But he was. I I went to my boss and I said, you know, he. I asked him about Google, like, did he do this, this, and this? And he's like, well, I'm, I played Pokemon go, you know, that thing where you had to like follow the maps and show up. And he's like, I did that, but he was studying physics. So I knew transferable skill wise, he could probably get this job and do it. And I went to my boss and I said, I can't check the boxes, but his parents work here. And she said, who are his parents? And I gave her the names and she looks them up and she's like, I'm not going to, I can't dodge that bullet. We need to bring him on. So, (laughs) you know, again, you're not going to know the reasons that there's so much going on behind this. I had one, I was down to the wire on one job and the manager literally was hanging CDs, I mean, discs in her tree because she didn't want the birds pooping on her deck. She fell off, broke her leg and it pushed the job back three months. And I can't Mm. say to the candidates, well, guess what? You know, the potential boss broke her leg. The job was just gone. And, you know, that wasn't something I could share. There's, or, you know, if there's a reorg, there's just, there's a lot that happens sometimes that we don't see. So, yeah, it could be ageism or ageism could be a small part of it, or it could be absolutely nothing that has anything to do with it. Um, and as job seekers, you have to kind of keep that in mind. You're not going to know that. You're not always going to know those answers. So again, just keep putting out the best product, the best version of yourself. Be really clear in what you want and what you bring to the table. And eventually the right job, you know, fingers crossed will come along just you just got to really believe that I'm a big believer and if you put it out in the universe um it will it will come but you gotta you know you be careful what you ask for (laughs) 